Good morning, my lawn lovers. Good few days into March. Scarifying, scarifying, scarifying. So I'm back on this customer's lawn for the second time this year, 2022. I was here around four weeks ago to put down Moss Killer, Sierra Sol, liquid application. When I spin this round, I'll, well, you'll clearly see how black the moss has gone. So I'm here today with my Billy Goat the Scarifier to scarify the lawn. And how ironic, this particular customer of mine had their lawn scarified by me last year, which you'll see on my Lawn Care Weekly videos. And yeah, so impressed they were with the results in terms of getting rid of that organic material that's suffocating your lawn getting that off, breathing new life into your lawn, that I'm back to do the same thing. So I'll just spin this round. I have just given the lawn a quick going over with my lawn mower, as it was slightly too long. But you can see, you know, the moss that I treated a good few weeks ago. So let's crack on and get this lawn scarified. So this lawn has just been scarified once. Settings were on quite a low setting just due to the level of moss on the lawn. So I'm hoping that by seeing this, for those of you that don't appreciate or even haven't scarified your lawn before, why you do it and what you're actually taking off. I mean, come on. Look at it. This is organic material, like I've already said, it's suffocating your lawn. If your lawn is suffocating, you can't breathe. And you've got absolutely no chance, quite frankly, of your lawn making any meaningful progress. And again, that's why I've been going on since January about getting out onto your lawn, getting a plan together. This customer I've known for a while, so they did take my advice. As I already said, the moss killer went down in February and here we are in March and we're scarifying the lawn. And if you can go early, go early because, you know, the lawn will take at least four to five weeks to recover from this process. So by going early, it means that by come mid, you know, early to late spring, your lawn is pretty much up and running, ready to go. Right, let's get this raked up and bagged up and we'll have a look. So scarifying your lawn is one thing, you know, actually raking up all the debris off the lawn. I mean, you can just see the moss, you know, to all these bags, you know, raking up the lawn, bagging it all up, making sure you get all the debris off the lawn is definitely another job. Really quite time consuming, but I've raked everything up. Then I've used my leaf blower just to be completely sure and satisfied. So we'll be back on this lawn. Well, actually I'm gonna put some uh, fertilizer down, but we'll be back on this lawn in around four weeks time to uh, check on the progress. Right then folks. I did say I'd be back on this lawn in about a month. Having just spoken to the customer, you know, that much moss has come up off the lawn, leaving some bare patches. And you know, that is what the scarifying machine is all about. Another bonus to the scarifying machine, and I have spoken to you about this already. So this is a lawn that had the moss killed in February with a product called Sierra Salt. I'm now back on the lawn, having put that down in February. This lawn has been scarified. 
And again, scarifying, pretty straightforward if you have got the machine and you know how to use it. But my oh my, it's definitely the cleanup process which you've got to be prepared to do. You've got to get all the debris off the lawn that was kicked back off the lawn, which is all bagged up there. Also use my leaf blower just to really polish it all off, get every bit off. And then we've overseeded the lawn. And at this stage, I've just put down an organic compost which is high in nutrients which is going to put nutrients back onto the onto the lawn into the soil after scarifying and i know through using this product last year it does work wonders on your lawn and it will help speed up the germination of these seeds so let's get back on this lawn in uh, four to five weeks so I just thought I'd give you a quick update on this lawn. I haven't filmed this lawn today. It's the second lawn that I've scarified, overseeded, and the scattering of organic compost. Off memory, I, I think you did see me on this lawn around three or four weeks ago to put down a total moss killer being Sierra Sol. Uh, as I've already said, it's a liquid application, extremely effective at penetrating the moss at root level and killing it. So uh, at the customer's request, this was just lightly scarified, but nonetheless, uh, the other one's outside, but uh, one and a half bags of that have been filled up. And we've put down some, uh, some, some uh, ProSelect uh, Speed Germ grass seed and the scattering of organic compost at the top as well. So we'll be back on this lawn in around four or five weeks to give you an update. Rich Lawns. Good morning, my lawn lovers. Rich Lawns, rock on. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed yet, come on, crack on. Right, I'm with a new customer. As per the scripts, obviously I'll spin the camera around in a minute. Uh, came onto this lawn for the first time around four weeks ago. All kinds of problems. So to cut a long story short, by their request and my advice, Let's get this lawn heavily scarified and overseeded. Turned up this morning, the grass was quite long, so I've initially got my leaf blower out, blew off the dead leaves and picked up the twigs and all the debris, cut the grass on a high setting and then reducing it to a much lower setting. I have already scarified the lawn once, I have already bagged everything up. What you are gonna see me on camera now is give it a second run. The first run of the scarifying machine, I put the blades, the setting on its lowest setting. And again, when I spin the camera around, you can see that not only has the scarifying machine removed all the lawn debris, but it's also left some lovely deep grooves on the lawn into the soil created by the scarifying machine. And within those grooves and they are quite deep yeah so just an absolute perfect perfect opportunity to get your seeds down they will go into those grooves and indeed your fertilizer absolutely penetrating the soil at a deeper level i for one i'm looking forward to seeing the results i know what the results are going to be because i've done it before but i'm looking forward to obviously showing you the results so the lawn has like i say just been scarified once these are the grooves that you can see all over the lawn, which is fantastic. That's where the seeds are gonna go after I've done my second run. And that's, you've met my scarifier before, but this is a Billy Goat scarifier. Again, just here, oh, sorry, I just lifted up the blades. That's, that's the ability to uh, reduce or heighten the blades. As you can see down here, petrol, uh, motorized just a simple on off switch it's very easy to operate and just pull your cord and bingo you're in action so having said all of that let's get it in action
Right then, so that is the lawn heavily scarified on its lowest setting twice in separate directions. Understandably so, there are some of you who will be watching this thinking, oh my God, this is truly a bad day in the office. Yeah, accepted, yeah, as it looks right now. Definitely is a bad day at the office, but you know, no pain, no gain. And trust me, when we come back onto this lawn in a good few weeks, well, I know it's just gonna look amazing. Now then, my lawn lovers, let me just go, go around slowly. So at around nine o'clock this morning, I turned up at an agreed appointment with a new customer. Yes, new customer, that is how I roll. It's now about half past one. This lawn has been heavily, well actually, sorry, uh, I had to cut the lawn twice on a high setting and then reduce the setting as the grass was just too long in my opinion, but hey ho. So the lawn was cut twice. It's been heavily scarified twice on its lowest settings. Scarified twice, one first run, everything raked up, bagged up, and then a second run in the opposite direction. Huge amount of time, and I do mean huge amount of time spent raking everything up, bagging everything up, leaf blower on the lawn, getting all the debris off, in order to give this lawn an absolute perfect opportunity for the next stage. And that next stage being a complete overseed. That's what's gone down, I've already told you, it's Pro Select, Speed Germ, Cold Start, excellent for germination through our, our colder months, excellent disease resistance, gives off a beautiful, mild green color once it's all singing all dancing and then i've gone for a product that you saw me use extensively last year i really do favor it it works absolutely perfect for me and it's a thorough scattering of organic well 100 percent organic compost so as per the script we'll be back on this lawn you know around five weeks. Now then my lawn lovers, press up there for last week's episodes, press up there for this week's episode, and yes, 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 that button in there. Press that button in there to subscribe to my channel, Rich Lawns. Thank you.